Hi everyone, welcome to another Behind the Bean. I am of course Bean, but with me I have a special guest, Chelsea Howe. Hi! Yes, so uh, we're both doing this one together because we worked on a game earlier this year at the Global Game Jam in San Francisco called The End of Us. You want to summarize it real quick? So The End of Us is a game about two comets and they are flying through space and kind of playing around with each other and then at the end after they've kind of grown old and started to fade um, they run into an asteroid belt that kind of chips away both of them and then they run into a much bigger obstacle that uh, brings us to the end of us. Right and all that's in four minutes ish. Yes. About four minutes. So the theme was Extinction. Extinction, yes. Which, uh, and there were a bunch of other groups there at this uh, art gallery where it yeah. was held. And they were all pretty big teams. Yeah. Shout out to the Great Area Foundation for the Arts. Yes, thank you for, for the space there. Uh, but we had to come up with everything here for just between the two of us, yes. which was kind of fun. Uh, but we didn't even start uh, making the game when I got there. That's true. We, we started making the game at midnight. It was around midnight, so yeah, there's like three or four hours of... Seven hours after the game jam started. Okay, you're rubbing it in. All right, that's cool, but... <laughs> that works. Right, so we just uh, mostly talked, didn't even sketch. We were just discussing what extinction means, what, what, uh, how we can turn it into something that someone can both play and understand and take something out of it to get an experience, you know? So they're not just playing and saying, oh, that's cool. I want them to play it say, oh, that's cool, and then be like, oh, you know what? Let me apply this somewhere else in life. So we wanted to have them look like they're actually having fun, but you can control one of them, right? So we had to make this AI of sorts for the other comet, and that's where we came up with all these behaviors. Do you remember them? I think I do, because I coded them. I was going to you coded them. I coded them. So, so there's, yeah. there's go after him. Go right? after him. So so right, which is only used once in the beginning. The initial bump, the playful... Uh, there, yeah. Then there's follow and leave, so stay behind or stay in front of. Right, he'll either get in front of you or behind, even if you wiggle around, yeah. yeah. Orange circles around you. Speaking of the colors, <laughs> I was coming up with the colors, and... I was like, no, I, no, you're going to make no, them I asked, blue and pink. No, I said, yeah, because that's all I do, I make blue and pink characters, which is, at the time, it was very true. <laughs> uh, but I made a red plane. Doesn't there's, count. So... I said, what color should they be? And then I think less than a second went by, and then you immediately just... Purple and orange. Purple and orange, and I didn't even... Both my two favorite colors in the world, and two gender-neutral colors. So I didn't want to argue. I was like, fine, they're great colors. They're <laughs> <laughs> whatever. They're wonderful. Um, and that was cool, because it doesn't really give you a sense of what gender they are, if any. And they were drawn identically, so as far as we're concerned, they are genderless. And this is kind of a silly conversation. We're talking about what gender should the comets be, and we want them to stay as neither boy nor girl. Well, so we wanted to have the ability for people, we wanted to have the maximum range of interpretations, so we didn't want it to automatically be like a romantic interaction. We wanted it to be kind of like about all sorts of interactions. A friendship. Sometimes. Because on the, on the playground, as a little kid, you're friends with boys and girls. Mm -hmm. Before someone tells you what cooties are, then you go and stay with your, your clique of gender. But before that, it's really cool. Another behavior... Yeah, is the helix. Is the helix, which is only during when you're going through the nebula clouds. No, transitional behavior. Right, and it really doesn't work if you go up and down. Because mm -hmm. it's like a seesaw. Without the seesaw, <laughs> you're just moving. Works great if you go left and right. It looks so cool. I really wanted that. That was like the behavior that was like... I desperately wanted it. Yeah, I was hoping people would do that, so hopefully they did that. But, uh, yeah, that was pretty fun. And there's also Chase After Stars for that sequence, where yeah. it goes after the stars, and it's it's pretty good at it. It, it goes to the top of the screen, you can't even get in the way. Um, for the competition, I think that was about it. Uh, but I added one more afterwards for that week where I was tuning it, mm -hmm. and I added one where if you bump into it too much, it goes into the corner. Because it's a shame of bumping into that. I don't think I told you, but I did that just because it would sometimes just want to get in front of you if it's behind you, and it would just keep bumping, and it's really annoying. He bumps you off the screen, so I figured if he bumped you too many times within one second, he would just be like, oh, you know what, I'm sorry. And then it's like, go to the corner. So he always goes opposite you, which is kind of like, uh, oh, that's the behavior we missed, though. Oh, yeah. Where he's playing keep away. Keep away, so, right. Keep away. After he bumps into you, he's like, haha. I think the function was called keep away. Yeah. Nice. So we just kind of put those all in and timed it to the music to kind of make sure that he had the right behavior at the right time. Yes. Speaking of music... 
Speaking of music, so you made all of it, right? <laughs> I made all of it. All of it. So for forty-eight hours, I was working on the programming and art, and what? Meanwhile, you were working. writing a, 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 a an orchestral masterpiece. Yeah. A uh, con, concerto. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Thanks. yeah. It's my game too. Working on <laughs> working on the music and uh, and trying to run the jam and feeling really bad about leaving you cooped up in our little den. Right, you were the host of the game jam, so <laughs> every few hours you had to go and give people gold stickers on their faces because they were doing a good job. I'm I not think even you kidding. Had three. I have five, thank you very much. Five. well. No, some people had the one guy got eight. I think our winner was like fourteen. I don't remember. I was so out of it by that point. But yeah. yeah. But in between that was music, and we opted to do the Diversifier, which is like a global game jam achievement, and we picked... Uh, it's called... Uh, playing the Music. Playing the Music. Uh, which says, the game's duration is matched to that of a song. When the song ends, the game ends, no loops allowed. So, we thought that was cool. It limited us. It gave yeah. us a, a closed box of creativity, so we can only play within one playthrough. You know, it's not like a repeatable game, you know, where... In fact, we didn't even give you a play again button. <laughs> when the game yeah, ends, true. it's just, you're just looking at the stars and you're like, well, I guess I should close the tab. Which yeah. is kind of like together, as far as people thought when they got to Infinity's Midpoint. Not to just go into the game, but like people were just like, oh, I guess this is the end of the game. Yeah. So this time it is the end of the game. There it wasn't. It was just like a decoy. It made you think that... <laughs> Red herring. Yeah. 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 Nice. So we picked that one, and then we decided to break the game down into kind of like three sections. So each section kind of has its own special kind of flavor of music. Um, as well as behavior. As well as behavior. And the physical age of the comets. So they're little kids and they're playful and the music is, is what? What is it? Uh, it's, it's very playful. Playful, of yeah, course. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. It's very like ping, 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 ping. So then they get older, Andy. teenage. Yeah, so they get older and right. it kind of like, it, it, well, so first they're fighting each other and the fight is actually um, each time they hit one of the stars, uh, it triggers off a sound effect. So those are all done in pentatonic so that they wouldn't clash terribly with the uh, static background. And then they're also the recent patch from Tivoli. Yes, it's a sound effect from an iPhone game we worked on a couple years ago called Tivoli. So yeah, if, if anyone played that enough that they have that sound effect stuck in their head and they'll play at the end of us and be like, oh, wow. Flockenspiel. Yeah, <laughs> Flockenspiel. Sweet. Um, and then at the very end, it kind of mellows out and it gets a little bit sadder and you have the violin come in and then it works up to the big clashes, cymbal crashes as you uh, start struggling in the asteroid belt. That's right. The time ticks down. I think the whole asteroid belt was created because we wanted you to know that you can either take the hit or have Orange take the hit instead. Right. That's why, look, before we just had a, you, you go to the planet. That was it. Right. Earth-like. But we had to, so, and this is one thing that we failed a little bit on, but we wanted you to be able to know that you were making a sacrifice, so we had to set up the expectation that if you run into something, um, you get hurt. So you're not, like, just this immortal comet chasing stars. Well, yeah, that's why we added the cracks and then all the explosion and stuff yeah. going on. The music helped uh, emphasize it as well. But, uh, yes, we did, I guess, let's, yeah, we failed. Yeah. We failed, but we tried. We tried. We tried. That's why yeah, we yeah, added, we tried. That's what, <laughs> And we'll try. So yeah. that's why the comments were, the asteroids were in there. Um, just to let you know that it is possible for one to take the hit, the other to take the hit. And we made sure that the orange would, of course, do the first one, and then he would cower behind you and let you do the next one. So he was just showing both confidence and that he trusts in you as well. So it's, it's, a, it's the definition of a friendship is what that is. Aww. Where you can both lead and follow and, not, and be just happy either way. Yeah. But in this case, they were getting knocked around pretty bad by asteroids. So, <laughs> yeah. So then Earth came, and this is the time when you can change it. You know, you could either go to the top half it's of the, the screen <laughs> or the bottom half, and then that's how you decide. You know, who's going to take the hit? And it's it's kind of hard when I play it. It should be real easy, but I have to think. Okay, I'm in front, so I won't be alive, and then Orange will survive. Yeah. So that, that shouldn't be complicated. But I always have to think, it's kind of like... Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not the most clear. Yeah. And, that's what pe and that's when people don't realize they have a choice, is because they don't explore. They assume that... I mean, they don't like move around enough. Yeah, well, we didn't want to do it with words. We didn't want to say, pick, who yeah, dies. Yeah, that was, that was one of our self-imposed... Zero, zero <laughs> words. We do have the countdown in numbers, just so you can... So the numbers were there because you didn't want to be surprised if an asteroid hits you out of nowhere. Like, what was that? You know, we didn't want to have the asteroid just slam into you without warning. So the countdown's there and it's red. 
Yeah. Right? Oh, no, wait, it's not red until... No, it's always red. It's, it gets red at the end, and then it's red the whole time, right? Yes. yes. So, so, yeah, it's red, so it's really dangerous and important Ooh. attention grabbing. I guess we, we didn't want to make everything clear in the story in terms of, like, the relationship. And it's been kind of funny watching how people interpreted it. We had one person who was, like, thought that Orange was, like, their arch rival and, like, spent the whole time kind of fighting against Orange. Um, but then other people who have gotten that interpretation at the end realized that it was more about, even if there was rivalry, it was about, like, going on the journey together. And at the end, kind of, like, if you go through your whole life with a person, like, no matter what kind of friendship states were in between it's a pretty significant relationship so didn't someone also want orange to get all the stars they just like they just you know move back and they're just like no I just... yeah you, take like, the you stars. clearly want these so. go ahead i'm not even gonna try you, you take them you earn them go get them yeah yep. okay so <laughs> here are things that you may have missed in the game okay so I usually have hearts in my games, as you've noticed. There's hearts in how my grandfather won the war together, but that was yesterday. Tipoli. Tipoli has Tipoli hearts, so all about hearts. that's where it started. Yeah, that's a good so, yeah. yeah, so we had to have a heart here, and we were towards the end, pretty much at the end, and I was like, oh, we don't have a heart. I think you gasped. I don't know yeah, who gasped, but like, someone gasped. Like, how do we, like, yeah. So it's in one of the pieces of debris from the asteroids that hits you. It's a little chunk of heart made out of rock that kind of floats away. So it's kind of like a love hit yeah. if you want to take it like that. Eh, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. So we also wanted a hidden mouse mode for a second player to take over, which completely erases the, the experience we wanted you to have, hoping that you would make a new experience with another human next to you. And so for those of us who don't play these games by ourselves, if you have someone with you, you should definitely have them click their mouse on the screen during gameplay, and then they can control orange, and you can fight over who lives in... Who doesn't? Who gets to collect the stars? You can actually fight for the stars. It's pretty fun. Uh, so, we must have influences. I mean, none of this was original. This is all our lives. Yeah. You know, everything that you've experienced and such like that. So, uh, just to get this out of the way, the star field was ripped right from together. I think I took the source file yeah, you did. and copied <laughs> the stars over because I was trying to do one thing and the parallax wasn't working. So, this is quick and dirty, and when you only have 48 hours, you gotta. Use what you got. I mean, I even use the sine and cosine functions that I had worked out from together, like the mouse pointing and having all that fun stuff work. Yeah, so good. it helps speed up the process so you can just get to the fun part. You made me write my own name. I did. I made you, you write your own name. Well, because it's... I wanted you to do something visually. Aww. Something. And what better thing than your own name? <laughs> and I think, how many times did you have to rewrite it? Like, it wasn't that bad. You remember it like three times, you're like, let me erase it. I'm like, oh, that's fine. Well, look, it's, it's decent now. I wrote mine once. That's a lie. I did artist. like 20 times. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely an artist. I had to do it like 20 times to make sure it was right. And it's just all caps, who cares? But, um, yeah, this was fun. I think I cleaned up the text in that one week. So yeah. It's a little bit, yeah. a little bit closer to something. Please me. It's like a font like it was like. I always wonder why I made that L like that, it's slanted L. Because <laughs> the P is in the way. The P is in the way, but why don't we like, just move? Uh, see, this is... Nah, this is good. I like All it. All right, we'll address this in the next, <laughs> next version. But let me just hit play right now. So this was part of our no words self-imposed restriction. Right. So we wanted people to know how to play without even an instruction screen. So these arrow key looking things are in the way. So once you move, they disappear and then you see your comment move. So it should make sense. Two plus two type thing. Fingers crossed. Right. So Arj comes in and you want to, of course, bump him back for bumping you. And hopefully it's hard to do. I think if you go horizontally, it's pretty easy to... Well, I think I did it by accident while demonstrating. I was like, oh, I was supposed to make it look hard. Oh, well. Yeah. The uh, uh, pro tip, the sound that Orange makes when he collides with you, you thought it sounded like neat. I had to redo that sound effect multiple times because I you thought it sounded too much like flesh sound. Right, effect. I didn't want it to. They, they're <laughs> hard things. When right. rocks bump into each other, they don't sound like like punches more to like the face. Crack and metal. Yeah. So you have a bunch of instruments, right, for that sound effect? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's giant sound explosion. Yeah, Nebula was pretty sweet to make because 
I just got a Photoshop rainbow gradient, threw it on top, and then actually that makes me sound Render like not clouds. a really good artist. That's <laughs> <laughs> Render clouds. Yeah, but when you, only, rainbow. when you only have a few hours, I had to. It looks pretty good. It's on. It's in overlay mode. It just makes everything glow. It's pretty right. nice. Okay. And now they're bigger or older. Both, Both. possibly. Potentially. I spent a long time just working on those comet trails. I was actually <laughs> going to say, didn't we think about having those be hearts at first? Oh, I think they were hearts, which is why they yeah. even have that similar shape. Yeah. Yeah, that's too many hearts. See, there's, there's a stopping point. Right, yeah. Yeah, can't really <laughs> I found a lot of people who really like trying to figure out how to sync uh, once orange starts following you how to uh, sync it so that you get chords out of the stars instead of just single notes. You can do that? Yeah, I thought that was a nice metaphor for like working together, you can become like more than some of your parts. I didn't even know you could do that. Yeah, it's it's really nice when it happens and you get this nice resonant chord and you're like, we did that together. And you're like, oh, it's good. It's not your achievement in the game. We got this over. We're chasing their stars, man. <laughs> yep. Second nebula looks strikingly Identical. like the last one. I think this music isn't synced up here. Yeah, the music's not synced. Music you didn't tell me until after the no, competition. No, I told you. No, you didn't. No, so the music's off by about like a second, three seconds. Three seconds. Yeah, it's like about a phrase. Little mini phrase yeah, once I paid attention to it, I was just like, oh, wow, that is off. I never... Yeah. I don't know, I was just paying... T I just wanted to make sure the game didn't, like, explode. That's all I was really concerned <laughs> with. I just didn't want it to break. Yeah, like, those crescendos and those hits are supposed to happen, like, exactly when you get smacked, and I think right now they happen, like, not quite. Or maybe this is the part that we were forced to sync up, and then everything else Right, everything happened. else, yeah, it was yeah. off. Yeah. So it was kind of weird we had to sync up the music score to the code, so I was just working in milliseconds, like this happens at 3,962 milliseconds, so... I totally wasn't even that specific. I totally give you seconds. Maybe that's why we're not in sync. Melodramatic! We're just arguing now. Where's Orange? Hmm? Oh, it's the end. Yeah. <laughs> I missed her. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, are you still in the comments? We didn't know what to do with the comet that survived at first. We thought about having it go like up off the screen, but what, did that mean like you were happy that it died? Or and then I think it fell off the screen, so we wanted you to feel like a sense of like loss, like oh my whole paradigm of existence is different now. I can't really deal with it, so I'm just gonna slow down. Yeah, it's hard to convey emotion with a rock, and luckily when it's out of the player's control, mm -hmm. you can do a few more things with it. Like here, <laughs> he was kind of looking left and right, like he's searching, right. and then he gives he realizes that he's the friend's not around, and so. It will I was gonna say, here we go with it, the keys again. Yeah, what is up with this? <laughs> so it just moves off the screen, and you're left with the stars of the other color. Yeah. So that's the end of the end of us commentary. Thanks for uh, thanks for coming, Chelsea. That was Thank very you. nice of you. Yeah. Yep, yeah, and uh, it's great to hear your input on the. Because you weren't just the uh, the composer. People thought that you were just you just did the music, and I was the guy who made the game. But you were you were half the brain. No, I'm I'm saying you were. I'm letting people know right now Thanks. that you were half the brain. Appreciate you were it. half the design. You were, yeah. you know, you helped come up with the whole thing, just as much as I did. So, so you get half credit. <laughs> <laughs> you get half credit. Awesome. Okay, I think that's it. Cool. Okay. Bye. Bye.